In this video, we're going to look at adding tools to the tool database in Bobcat. First, we'll come over here to CAMPART, click the plus symbol. Now, this video is going to cover adding milling tools. Um, in another video, we'll cover adding turning tools. We right-click milling tools, then go to tools, and this gives us our tool database. You can see here standard drill, drill, carbide drill, and all of the other support tools by Bobcat. Let's say that we come here to C and mill rough, which would be our carbide and mill rough. Let's say that we want to add tool. We'll come over here and click on add. This will bring up our tool dialog box. This is where we can set up our tool diameter, our flute length, and the flute length will control the simulation. Um, not necessary to set up, but you can. Or corner radius on the tool, if any, if we're using, say, a ball and mill. The number of flutes on the tool. This will affect the feed rate later when we look at feed rates, how many flutes are on the tool. Let's say two. And our overall length of tool. Now, this size is actually coming from the bottom of the collet to the end of the tool and then the tool number. Now tool numbering you get some other options to renumber the tools or change them on the fly later. Um, for those of you that have dedicated tool numbers for your tool changer you'd want to set them up in here. Let's say that this is tool 2 on the machine. And then the tool label which is your description that you'll be selecting the tool by within the Bobcat system. So let's call this a carbide insert 0.375 diameter. We'll just say 375 diameter. Now the system, the feeds and speeds, you could choose system or manual. Now manual will lock this tool into an individual cutting feed rate that you can then override on the fly later. System will use the system feeds and speeds, which we'll cover in a later video setting those up. We'll choose OK. Now we can see here in our database that we have a tool 2 that has a 0.375 diameter, zero corner radius, two flutes, flute length of three quarters of an inch and overall length of three inches, and then our tool label or our description. Now one thing to keep in mind is in some cases you might have more than one tool 2. Maybe you have a machine that you set up your tools differently and you might use tool 2 for more than one slot. You can add as many tool number twos as you'd like, or any tool number for that fact. This is just a database that stores all the information that you enter. We'll go ahead and choose OK. When we come to add a feature, we'll just kind of skip ahead a little bit. We'll go add a profiling feature. We'll cover more in detail how to do this later. Let's come to our rough tool. Now in here, we can click on Tool Library, and you can see we get that list, and then we can select the tools that are added to our tool database. And it will then import the information from our tool database that we had originally set up. You can also add tools on the fly from the tool library while in a feature. If you go to your tool library, you always get your Add, Delete, and lastly, Modify button that we add another tool. And then we get the same dialogues to come in and fill out to add tools. If you leave the tool label empty, or if the system generated a tool on its own, it'll give you a description of the diameter, the corner radius, and other values. Choose OK. And we'll cancel out of this. Now, with the tools, one thing to keep in mind is you have to work within the tools that Bobcat provides. So if you have custom end mills, you can use them. You'll have to add those in your tool library, either under end mill rough, end mill finish, or carbide end mill rough and finish. So if you have a special profile cutter, you can manually comp for that in your drawing. But you'll still add it to the tool database just the same and then give it your description to describe the custom features of that tool. In here you'll set up your center drills, drills, 
carbide drills, spiral taps, point taps, hand taps, rolling taps, chamfer tools, counter bores, and so on. Now, one thing that is important in here, taps, there's a secondary location for adding taps as well. So let's say we add a tap in here. So let's say we'll come to our spiral tap, and we're going to add, let's say, this is going to be a quarter 20 tap. So we choose our thread type. Now the thread type you need to have available before setting up the tool. We'll go ahead and look at adding thread types as well. So we'll say that this is for our quarter 20 thread. Then we could set up our ineffective length on the tool. And then our overall flute length. And our overall length of tool. And our tool number. And whether it's a right hand or left handed tap. And we'll just call this a uh, 0.25 tap. We'll click OK. Now the thread definitions, we'll go ahead and click on OK. You can right click milling tools, go to hole sizes, and this is where those thread definitions for the tools are. So all of your taps require that you have the threads defined before adding the tool. In here we could see our metric coarse, metric fine, and so on. So we come to our UNC, and there's the quarter 20 that we have just used. Now if you have taps, or if you're creating tap sizes that are different than what's in this database, you can come in and add a tap. You can give it any label that you want. Let's go ahead and call this uh, 3 quarter 11. So 3, 4, dash 11. You can give this any name you have your nominal diameter of the thread and also the pitch. Hole sizes have to do with the how the compound operations work. Bobcat can automatically assign a drill every time that you tap so this is where it grabs these sizes from. So what this does is this looks back to our tool database for what size tap has been added to the tooling database and then can use that kind of tap based on what operation you select whether it's a cutting or a rolling operation. We'll kind of cover this a little more in detail as making a program but the important thing to keep in mind is to add your tools right click milling tools go to tools and then click add and then fill out the information about that tool and then that tool will be generated in the tool database and for thread sizes, right-click milling tools, go to hole sizes, and you could set up your custom thread sizes. Now, you can find more information on setting this up through the help system inside of Bobcat. And also, you can find information on setting this up in our FAQs up on our website at bobcat.com. And that covers setting up tools.